Alright, so continuing the same previous example, we will now calculate errors for a scenario that follows a normal distribution. So, there are two types of errors. One is type 1. So, a type 1 error is basically when you reject null hypothesis, when in fact the null hypothesis is true. If we look at it uh, from the context of this example, rejecting a uh, type 1 error is going to be that we reject the null hypothesis, we reject the claim of the company that mu is 60 milliliters, when in fact the mu is actually 60 milliliters, right? So that is type 1 error. So uh, when you're carrying out a hypothesis test using normal distribution, your probability of a type 1 error your probability of a type 1 error is basically your significance level in this case 5% or 0 0.05 so type 1 error is you reject the null hypothesis when it is true in this case you say that uh, the uh, that the volume is the mean volume is less than 60 milliliters when it actually is 60 milliliters the other type of error is called type 2 error. So type 2 error is basically saying, th you ac saying that you accept the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is not true. That is in this case saying that the mu, the mean is 60 milliliters when it is not 60 milliliters. So how do you find the probability of uh, type 2 error? So, the probability of type 2 error is found you by calculating this the probability this area this region. Now, this here is 0 0.05. That is your rejection region, right? So basically you have to find the probability of this region that is this area and you will be given a new mean in the question so let's say you have to find uh, the probability of type 2 error when the mean is in fact let's say um, 58 let's say this is a question so you have to find the probability of uh, this region with the new mean right so probability of x greater than your x critical given that the mean is 58 right so first let's calculate x critical so my z critical from the previous video it was minus 1.6 Four five, right? So x bar critical minus mu that was sixty upon the variance that is three over root twelve. So my x bar is fifty eight point six. Right? Let me just shrink this a little. So, you find x greater than 58.6, that is equals to probability of z greater than 58.6 minus the new mean that is 58 upon 3 over root 12 so equals to probability of z greater than this turns out to be 58.6 minus 58 divided by 3 by 3 upon root 12 0 0.6 
nine three and this area this probability is so that's your probability of the type 2 error it's basically the acceptance region with the new mean